Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over Jasper.ai and a plagiarism checker. So I bring this up for a few reasons. First and foremost, Jasper doesn't have a specific plagiarism checker, but there are some free tools that you can utilize just to check the content that you get. Second of all, from what I've seen, all the times I've checked their content, it's been fabulous. Every now and then you'll get something that matches up and says it's quote unquote plagiarized, but this happens a lot with a lot of AI copywriting tools, given the fact that it'll be a very broad sentence like, thank you for reading my article, feel free to leave a comment down below. Something like that is very generic, is going to come up a lot of different you know, URLs and links like that. Either way, if you haven't gotten to test out Jasper, you can follow along with me in case you want to create some content and check it out yourself. The link for the free trial and bonus will be in the description. So in one of the previous videos I did, I created an outline, I did an intro, a conclusion, I did some paragraphs, and I came up with a very quick article. This is not all of it, but I just decided to get most of it. And this is what I'm going to utilize in a couple of places plagiarism checker. So first one is going to be plagiarismdetector.net. I'm going to paste this in here. And of course, I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. Uh, check plagiarism should be good to go. And this should take a good amount of time once this gets loading, I believe. So what I want to do is while that's detecting, I'm going to go to the other one. <clears throat> this is just another one. Both of these you can use small SEO tools. If you Google like free plagiarism checker, something like this will come up. If you have a premium one, of course, you can use that as well. I'm going to paste that in there. And if I scroll down, I am not a robot, although you might think I am, given the fact that I talk about AI so much. Let's click on check plagiarism. And while this one loads as well, once both of these are done, I'm going to go back over and show you the results. All right, and after a little bit of waiting, as you can see, we do have 100% unique here. If there was anything wrong with it, it would show it there. And the same thing when we get to the other one, we have 100% unique. Keep in mind, this is just one example, but the example that I used was taken directly from the video I did before this, where I did a overview of Jasper, just to show you that. So anytime you're using Jasper, feel free to use some of these free plagiarism checkers if you wanna be more confident about the work that you get. Keep in mind, I will reiterate this one more time, not only with Jasper, but pretty much every AI content writing software has had great content in terms of a lack of plagiarism, which is a good thing. Every now and then you will get that blip where you just get a very broad statement. And it's of course, it's going to come up if you say something like, thank you for reading this article or golf is a fun sport, you know, just bland and very broad topics or statements that have been used just in thousands of different articles. So if you wanted to change those around, feel free to, but just because you have something like that doesn't mean your entire article is plagiarized. You're overall going to get fantastic quality, especially when it comes to Jasper. So hopefully Hope you enjoyed this video and my thoughts when it comes to jasper.ai and using plagiarism checkers. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. The link is in the description for your free trial and bonus in case you want to test them out. And that's about it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.